Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we print some specific pattern using asterisk or star symbol. Here we print this format and you can say it a diamond shape pattern. Let's see how it looks in our skin. Here we divide the whole skin into rows and columns. These are the rows and these are the columns. Now see the picture carefully and you will find here two different pattern. This portion indicate one pattern which mark red color and this portion indicate another pattern which mark green color. In upper portion stars are printed in increasing order. First print one star, then three star, then five star and then seven star. But in lower portion stars are printed in decreasing order. First print five star, then three star and finally one star. So these two pattern are opposite to one another. And if we match these two pattern, then we get the diamond shape pattern. So first we print the upper portion. If you remember, we have already done this in our previous tutorial. So I am not going details about this. In short, I would say we need three loops. One for rows and we can write it as for row equal to one, row less equal to maximum number of row, for upper portion maximum number of row is 4 that's why we write the termination condition row less equal to 4 and then increment the value of row by 1 that is row plus plus from this picture you can see first print some space and then print star so to print space we need another loop and we can write it as for space equal to 1 space less equal to maximum number of row minus current row here maximum number of row is 4 and current row indicate row that's why we write the termination condition space less equal to 4 minus row and then increment the value of space by 1 that is space plus plus our next task is to print star and stars are printed using the logic 2 into row minus 1 for first row 2 into 1 minus 1 means print 1 star for second row 2 into 2 minus 1 that is 3 that's why it print 3 star for third row 2 into 3 minus 1 that is 5 so it print 5 star and this procedure is continue and we can write the loop as for column equal to 1 column less equal to 2 into row minus 1 and then increment the value of column by 1 that is column plus plus let's move to the coding here our first task is to declare variable which we use in our program. So I am gonna write here int row column insert call space and n. Next I am going to ask user how many rows they want to print. Print f enter number of rows and a new line. Next we need to read this input number using the scanf function scanf percent d and ampersand n. Next we write the loops here. First write the outer for loop which runs for row for row equal to 1. Then write the termination condition that is row less equal to maximum number of rows. Here maximum number of row is n that's why we write here n and then increment the value of row by 1 that is row plus plus. Inside this loop we write another loop that prints space. So I am gonna write here for space equal to 1 space less equal to maximum number of row minus current row. Here maximum number of row is n minus current row indicate row so we write here row and now increment the value of space by 1 that is space plus plus now we print the space using printf statement printf and give here a space next we write the loop that print the multiple star or multiple column in each row I am gonna write here for column is initialized to 1 then write the termination condition that is call less equal to 2 into row minus 1 and now increment the value of column by 1 that is called plus plus next we print the star using printf statement printf and give here a star symbol the last thing that we need to do print a new line to go to the next row 
so I'm gonna write here printf backslash n let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of rows I'm going to enter 4 and the output is this as you can see here it print upper portion and we have reached our goal our next task is to print lower portion see the picture carefully we have already done this portion now we need to print this portion since we print these two parts separately so we are numbering the row as 3 2 1 instead of 5 6 7 one thing I must say the number of row that the user enter it is for upper portion which is the maximum number of rows for this picture user enter 4 rows the number of rows in the lower portion is one less than the upper portion for this case upper portion has 4 rows and lower portion has 3 rows which is one less than the upper portion to print this portion we also need 3 loops first loop runs for rows as you can see here starts are printed in decreasing order and we can write the loop as for row equal to maximum number of row minus 1 here maximum number of row is 4 that the user enter that's why we initialize row equal to 4 minus 1 next we need to write the termination condition and it will run till 1 and when the value of row will be 0 it will stop that's why we write the termination condition row getter equal to 1 and then decrement the value of row by 1 that is row minus minus now see the picture carefully here first print one space and then star here also print one space and then star then here print two space here also print two space here print three space here also print three space now consider the star here print five star here also print five star here print 3 star here also print 3 star and then finally here print 1 star and here print 1 star also so the number of stars and space are printed in each of the portion are equal so the loops for space and column will be same for the both of the two portion let's move to the coding now we write here the code for lower portion here first we write the outer for loop which runs for rows for row equal to maximum number of row minus 1 here maximum number of row is n that's why n minus 1 then write the termination condition that is row getter equal to 1 and then row minus minus inside this loop we write other two loops one for space and another for to pin multiple star in each row we said before that the loops for space and column will be same as the upper portion so I am going to copy it and paste here and the last thing that we need to do print a new line to go to the next row so I am going to write here print f and then backslash n our program is completed let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of rows I am going to enter 4 and the output is this so finally we get the diamond shape pattern let's check it for another value compile it and run it enter number of rows I am going to enter 7 and the output is this that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel